If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? So we back with another banger video. Now today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to be a better stage park player, just a better guard in general. I'm gonna show you guys how to do peekaboos that you guys see me do right there. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do quick stops. I'm gonna teach you guys like how to play when you're playing as comp. Now, um, I don't know how many videos I'm gonna have of me in the stage or me in the park, but I'm gonna put some videos right here and throughout the video of when to do what. But right now, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do peekaboos. But first, I gotta show you guys my SIGs, obviously. None of them really matter just besides the hesitation. You can use any SIG in the game, any SIG you want. But for the hesitation, there's two SIGs I, re I recommend you guys to use. Um, either use Pro 3 hesitation or Pro 2 hesitation. I recommend Pro 3 because you can do like the quick step back off of them. But if you wanna, if you wanna like, if you wanna peekaboo like really, really good, Pro Two is better. But um, you can still peekaboo with Pro Three. You can do quick stops for both of them. But um, honestly, I say Pro Three is better. But that's just personal preference, it's whatever you guys like. None of this really matters. None of these matters. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys my jump shot. I'm gonna blur that out. Um, but you guys can see like my dunks and stuff. I don't really got nothing on there to be honest with you, bro. Literally just one thing. But um, yeah, that's those are my six. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do. The first move, which are peaky bulls, and the second move, which is a quick, quick stop. Alright, so for peekaboo, peekaboos are good when you're playing stage, especially stage. Like when you have a defender in a center trying to play the picker or trying to play you in the center because you're running screens. So let's say you're running to, let's say I'm, I'm gonna run back to the right side, right? I'm gonna run back to the right side, stop, shoot it. So basically, this move, this move is good because let's say you have a lockdown to your left and you have a paint beast to your right and you have your center in the middle, right? So the lockdown, so if you go to the left, you can't really do nothing because the lockdown right there. And but the center, the center that's trying to guard you on the right is playing a little bit like too like not not close enough. So if you notice the lockdown's playing tight on you, you can honestly go to the right side, stop, peekaboo, and shoot it. So basically how to do a peekaboo is um you wanna run to a side, right? Run to a side, let go of everything and just shoot the ball. Literally let go of everything, let go of everything, shoot the ball. Now, if you don't do it right, it's gonna it's gonna give you all dribble like that. It's gonna give you all dribble. So you guys, you wanna have perfect timing. It's like a little, it's like a quick let go, everything shoot. So run to this way, let go of everything shoot. All right, I'm gonna do it one more time. Let me get the ball real quick. I'm going in the middle. I'm gonna go to the right side. For the right side, let go of everything shoot. All right, that's one, that's how you do a peekaboo. Now, only reason why I say Pro 2 is better because you don't really get that many off dribbles when you try to do it. Sometimes when you try to do it with Pro 3, it gives you an all dribble. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, but now I'm gonna tell you guys how to do a quick stop. So quick stop is like, I honestly think peekaboos are better than quick stop, but quick stops are good too. Like especially like if the lockdown is pressing you half or full court, you can honestly just run past them, quick stop, boom. That right there is the quick stop. So how to do a quick stop, or when to do a quick stop? When to do a quick stop is like, what I just said when the lockdown is pressing you full court and you beat him down full court, just run to the like someone to the corner, quick stop. And most of the time it's gonna be green. Most of the time they can't really contest it. So how to do that? In order to do that, you wanna run. You wanna run full speed to the one side, right? So I'm gonna go back to the right side. You wanna let go of everything, right? You wanna let go, no, not let go of everything. You wanna let go of R2 and flick your right stick now. 
when you flick your right stick down, you see how to put the ball behind his back? See that? You see that? When he does that, you want to shoot it right away. So run to the right side, let go of R2, shoot it. And that's green. That's how you do a quick stop right there. I'm going to show you guys one more time. I'm going to go to the left side, back to the right, and do a quick stop. Boom. Now, I'm going to warn you guys, to do when you do a quick stop, the jump shot's a little bit different. To me, I feel like you got to hold it on longer, but I don't know. But that's, that's how I feel. When you do a quick stop, you got to hold it on longer. So when you do, when you guys do try this in your my court or 3-3 arena, just uh, remember, it's going to be a different timing from your regular jump shot. Just because you, you do a move before the actual jump shot release. But um, yeah, that's how you do a quick stop. That's how you do a peekaboo. So now I'm going to get to what to do when, like, in comp states and uh, scenarios where you can't literally, like, they're literally guarding the three. So if they're guarding the three, you just want to dribble. You, first of all, you need to have a center that sets good screens, right? So I have a center that sets good screens, and if you can't get a peekaboo off, if you can't get a, um, a quick stop off, what you want to do is have your center set with another good screen, run to the street, and have him slip. When he slips, you have two options. I guess you have three options, depending on how they play defense. You can either get a three off, you can get a... A peekaboo mid-range, you can get a um, you can get a lob off, you can throw a lob, or you can run to the uh, run to the fucking what is it called? Off dribble, you can off dribble, bro. I was trying to think of um, the word the fucking close shot. I'm trying to think of that word, but um, you can run to the close shot or off dribble. And if the and you're playing some bots, honestly, you could just dodge your teammate in the corner. But most of the time, usually they're gonna usually when you play comp team, they're gonna give you the lobs. So if you can't get open for the three. Like, remember, in stage, it's not about the offense. It's always about the defense. If you don't have no good defense, you're most likely going to lose a game. And that's facts, bro. So, um, the best lineup to run in stage is definitely a shot creator. A shot creator, like, a shot creator that has sharp takeover 100%. You want to have a shot creator that has sharp takeover. But low key, another one is play takeover. People under, under um, estimate play takeover just because you can't really break angles like that. But play play takeover makes your teammates actually shoot better when you dot them the ball. But um, yeah, if you have a play shot with sharp takeover, he shouldn't miss the ball. He shouldn't miss a shot, bro. But um, enough for your for your two, you want to run with like some type of lockdown, a two way slasher or a pure lockdown, like some type of red, blue, red, yellow or pure red build. Um, for your lockdown, he has to be able to. He has to be good enough to guard ball. He has to be good enough to uh, hold good defenders. Not be able to hit screens like that. He's got to. He have good defense. And the third thing you want, people think seven three glass cleaners two hundred ninety pounds. No, seven three glass cleaners are bad, especially in stage. If you play comp stage, and you're watching this video, you already know, bro. Pure like big glass cleaners and paint beads are horrible. Interior forces finishers are not good. So the best builds in like. From what I heard and from what I seen when I play stage sometimes, 6-9 to 6-10s. Now, I heard from what I seen, 6-9 or 6-10 pure red um, pure red centers. Make them all red. And um, those are like the best stage builds just because they have good defending. They can finish when you, when you throw them a lob. And they just, they're, they're fast. So in the comp scenario when the center has to guard the guard for a possession, the guard can't really kick the 6-9 center because he's fast. He has clamps on or whatever. Uh, another good build is a 6-9 red blue, but to be honest, I think the best the better build is a 6-9 pure rare. So um I hope that actually like help you guys become better at park. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put like like I said, um put clips somewhere in this video. I don't know if I already did it or not, but I have clips in here to show you guys when to do it, when like when to throw lives or whatever. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We did just hit 1K, man. You know, I'm trying to hit this 1.1K soon. So go ahead and hit that sub and like button, man. I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in the next video. That's for police, yeah. Walking in quick with a cold heart. I do the dash in the rose I've been dropping them bodies yet from the start. Got some.